Good morning. And today we're going to review Joan Sanford's Shadow Prey. It's his second book in the Prey Mystery series. And I thought it would be a little change of pace from Brother Cadpile, which we'll return to tomorrow. This book, I have to say about this book, there's something that was written in, by the author and that I found very interesting in his introduction. And he says that initially he wanted to write a social commentary. This involves Native Americans. And I was uncomfortable with him calling them Indians and Indians all the time because these days we don't call Native Americans Indians. However, I found out that in Arizona they like to be called Indians. So that's only here in Oklahoma. But in Minnesota, I guess they like to be called Indians too. So this book... Uh, he wanted to make it into a social commentary, the author, John Sanford. But it was his second book that he had written. And he found out that in writing a social commentary, you need an argument, uh, detail, explanation, and they get very dry and people, the same people don't want to read them that read, uh, that read his thrillers because his thriller needs velocity and action and it doesn't work with a sober social commentary. So, those are his words. So he, after he wrote it, the, his publisher agreed with him and he went back and wrote it into this book, Shadow Prey. It is a thriller and it has some very disturbing parts and it has some very violent parts. And you can tell that he was strongly motivated by the by incidents that happened with the Native Americans in Minnesota, just as in all the countries of this United States, and whether you agree with them or not, this this book will uh, will touch on some things that will disturb some people and disturbed me to a certain extent. But you can't read a book without feeling something, and this really makes you feel something. In addition, it moves fast. It, as usual, his thrillers do have a lot of size side white wise cracks and a lot of sense of humor he has his characters are very well developed and he's very <laughs> don't know what to say about his kind of personal life he has but there is too much damage to the like I said I don't like my protagonists to be injured and have to spend weeks at a time laid up with some injury or another or have bandages on their heads or whatever and it seems like he's always getting beat up but that's part of being a thriller I guess that's part of being a fast moving fast action commentary uh, it's not a commentary <laughs> thriller that's written this piece of fiction will uh, travel along the speed of light and you'll meet a lot of members of the of the Indian uh, of an Indian group that want to be mystics, they want to be, they believe that they are going to be, they're on a religious quest, and they are, they're trying to solve problems that were solved, that were created when they had concentration camps in Minnesota, and then after, and uh, some 49 Native Americans were hung after they were let out of the concentration camps and this was and that was approved by President Lincoln so it's way back to the Civil War but the, there are a lot of these people that a lot of these Indians that um, still carried the grudge in their family because their families were so deeply affected and their religion and their time in their life and their whole lives were thrown out of balance by the incidents that happened at that time it's Really, it's interesting. You meet the fascinating characters that he develops, and you travel all over in a number of different cars, and some of them make it and some of them don't. But have fun with this one if you can. It's serious. It's serious, but it's a thriller. So he did manage to make it a commentary in a lot of ways. It, you, you know how you feel when you read this book. I advise John Sandberg's Shadow Prey, the second in the Prey series. Enjoy it. And until next week, then, thank you for listening and watching. Bye.